Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you're new here, you might be a little bit confused. For those of you that don't know, I'm Danny. I'm Allie. And we're half of the Silky Sisters. So on this video, we want to do something new. So we really wanted our viewers to get to know us on a personal level. So we thought it might be better to just do like a two and two video. This week, you're going to get to know Danny and me better. Next week, you might get to know the Moon and Emerald better. On this video, we just asked our Twitter followers and Snapchat followers to send us some questions that they wanted to know personally about me and Danny. So we're gonna get into it. So we've been getting questions all night, but we decided not to look at them yet so we could kind of be surprised right now with you guys. So bear with us. Number one is talk about sex. Um, sex. <laughs> don't know what that is. Never experienced that. Mom, that. dad. Don't, we don't know what that is. Sex is disgusting overall, to honestly, be honest. Honestly, honestly. So we're gonna leave it at that. What's your favorite thing about each other? Oh, okay. 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 I mean, you can go first. I always like to get compliments. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think my favorite thing about Danny is... Hmm. <laughs> okay, let me just do the top two. My top two would be she's very honest. She will just keep it a whole buck with you about <laughs> anything. Like, even if you don't want to do... Like, it's a good type of honest. Um, in my second one is like me and Danny. We like hype each other up on everything. Anytime we're at any social setting, you would know if we were together because we would just be on the same level. And so that's my favorite thing. <laughs> well, that also one of my favorite things about <laughs> Ali. She just matches me on everything. Whatever mood we're trying to be in. We do. It's in sync. Yeah. Especially like when she said like when we're at parties or just right. like in a little get together. You, you'll know when we're together. Right. You'll know it. Um, and then she's just so supportive and understanding. And I just feel that that's because she has what I lack, which is yeah. empathy and yeah. sympathy. Well, yeah, we work really good as best friends because like I'm a very like nurturing, empathetic, sympathetic, like what can I do to help you type person. And Danny's more of a like, hey, time to get up, do it yourself, you don't need no one type person. So like we play good off each other because yeah. you get like best of both worlds. Yeah. Okay, the third question we have says, when can I be in your next video? And also, why do you guys kneel? I already know, but your viewers might not know. Okay, so this is a two-parter. So, to answer the first part, when can you be in our video? I mean, just whatever. <laughs> send just, us a quick message. Yeah, send us a message. Yeah, do. Yeah. Okay, in the second time. Now I'll do some more serious. Yeah, time. serious. So, some of our viewers might not know, so we can just explain really quick. Um, like we said in our first video, we go to a small PWI, which is a predominantly white institution. We're cheerleaders. Yeah. And we had a football game last Saturday. It was our homecoming game, so it was very busy. Mm -hmm. And some of the cheerleaders and some of the football players decided to take a knee during the national anthem. I'm not gonna get too deep into right. all that, but they asked why did we take a knee? And me personally, I cannot stand for something that does not stand for me. How I feel standing for the national anthem is how I would guess somebody who feels so strong about the national anthem would feel if they know. Just jumping off that, um, some of you might know Colin Kaepernick took a knee last year in protest of social injustice that are going on in the world right now. And that's something that I am very, very passionate about. And so with a bleak, quick answer, that's why I took a knee. Um, I'm protesting the social injustice of black men and women that are going on in the world. If you want to have an in-depth conversation, we would love to. Feel free to message us on any social media sites that we'll have below. Or comment down below. Yeah, and we'll get back to you. Moving on. Next question is, what's the worst and greatest thing that happened to you in high school? Okay. My golden day. <laughs> it's been a minute. Um, my best thing that happened to me while I was in high school is my senior year. They were doing, like, senior favorites or whatever for a yearbook, and I won best hair out of the whole school, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny though, because I won best hair, but the day that they wanted me to take pictures, it was nappy, it was in a bun, it was it was, it was clearly not the best, best hair, hair worthy. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently a lot of people felt so, so. Right. Um, I think my best would be, my school always did like a talent show, and I sing a solo every year, and people started calling me Beyonce. That was probably the best <laughs> thing I did in high school. <laughs> now our worst. Hmm. hmm. I <laughs> okay. Oh, no. I really um I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> During lunchtime, I decided that you know I was gonna try to be cute <laughs> and smoke for the first time. And I don't know why I did it. I don't know why I did it during school. I don't know why I ever thought that I could just come back to school. And like I said, I have a lot of hair. The smell was really in it. And you know, I walked in and immediately I got snatched up by an administrator. <laughs> <laughs> and it was me and my best friend, and they took us into another room and we tried to deny it, but then they're like well, let me smell your fingers. Like, 
immediately, I already knew I just started bawling. Immediately, I saw I was just bawling, but I was also laughing. I was not in the state of mind. That shit happened. And then my mom came and you know my mom. She's very, very strict, so I thought I wasn't gonna be alive to come back to school. And then I was just also embarrassed because everybody knew. It was just an embarrassing time. Never did that again. Okay, well, mine's not nearly <laughs> as bad. Um, high school was okay for me, but my senior year, the bitches, they were rude, number one. Number two, these bitches voted me biggest ego. <laughs> And, I mean, I personally don't think I have a big ego. We were just talking about this the other day. I feel like I have an ego when needed. I'm pretty laid back to be voted biggest ego in my class. I know about one or two, three, four bitches <laughs> who could've won biggest ego in my <laughs> I thought I was gonna win something fun, something amazing. So but I'm best hair. Right, right. So fuck the graduating <laughs> class that I graduated with. Fuck you guys. One of you has a boyfriend, but all you guys talk about is how bad boys are. First of all. Sounds like somebody's wrong. Right, whoever's in this question. Are you okay, sis? You don't get what this question's about. We did make a relationship video. That will also be in the description. Um, we made a relationship video and we talked about our relationship statuses and we kind of gave our opinions on relationships. So maybe that's where this person's getting Or maybe it's from. our other video that we did about yeah. breakups. Right. Which you should also go check out. Right. That would be down here Anyways, too. But I personally have been called a man-hater in my life. Right, if you wanted to call one silky <laughs> sister a man-hater, it would definitely be Danny. I just think that all of us have very high standards. A lot of niggas have not <laughs> been able to match them. Right. And so then we get called man-haters because we let you know you're not meeting our standards. Right. Tighten up. That's right. You know, like I said, right. Tighten up. I definitely don't hate boys, but if you saw the last video, I did say <laughs> I went through a long breakup. I'm going to feel how I feel. Like Danny said, until someone shows us that they are a man and that they're gonna come and meet our standards and at this very moment I can't really name somebody who has. Wrapping it up, we don't hate men but we do dislike boys. Little boys. Little boys. Especially Ali and Danny. We don't do that. Okay, next question. What pisses y'all off? This, this <laughs> sounds like a lot more alive. Yes. The thing that pisses me off is I fucking hate when people lie. Like it can be small, it can be big. I'm the type of person where I personally feel like if you come to me and tell me the truth, I'm not gonna be as mad. But I fucking hate being lied to. So don't fucking lie to me about My first one I would say is people who don't know how to fucking eat right. <laughs> people who are not raised to fucking chew with their mouth closed, to not smack your lip. Gum is the worst. Sometimes in my family, I can't eat with most of my family. Like I have to pick up my plate and I will leave the room and eat by myself because I cannot hear that noise. Next question. Ooh, this one's kind of long. Dear Silky Sisters, how do I learn to love myself the way I am? I have the worst self-confidence and I try to fake it, which makes everyone think I'm an amazing and I preach self-love. How can I empower other women when I can't practice what I'm preaching? I have trouble with boys because I second guess myself, but every guy I've asked says that confidence is sexy. Please help. These are the questions. Yes! And just quick disclaimer, we will be doing a video on self-confidence yeah. and how to achieve that because that is something that we have all, every single one of us, had to have a hard time kind of achieving. Right. And it's still hard right now. Right. Okay, so to get into this one, I would definitely say that first and foremost, self-love is a solo journey. It has nothing to do with guys. I got into this argument with another person who's trying to say that, you know, you should find your self-love in other people and other people should keep telling you like how beautiful or how perfect you are and then you'll start to believe it. I don't think so because yeah, no. you cannot base your confidence off of what other people say because you're always gonna have yourself. You're always gonna have to live with yourself and if you're not solid with yourself, no other relationship in your life, your friendships, relationships, anything are gonna be solid until you find that in yourself. You asked how to achieve self-love mm -hmm. and I would just say something that's helped me is when I have a negative thought about myself, I immediately try to switch up like, uh, right. No, that's actually not true. And also, I think another thing that really takes away from self-love is looking at other women and seeing that they're beautiful and then somehow thinking that that takes away from your own beauty. Right. You can be beautiful and somebody else can be beautiful and that doesn't have anything to do with you. you. Your beauty has nothing to do with my own. But I also think it's important to surround yourself with positive people. You're never going to be able to achieve self-confidence and self-empowerment because you're surrounding yourself with all these negative-ass people bringing down themselves and you. So, first of all, that's a number one good step right now is to kind of cut off the dead weight. I really I hope that whoever sent this question will message one of us and we can talk about this separately. Our next question is, how are you guys single and so happy? Mm. This is actually a good question yeah. to come after the other question because like I said, being single is not the worst thing in the fucking no. world because at the end of the day, you always have yourself. Once you find happiness in yourself and once you're okay with being by yourself, being single is not scary. It's not fucking hard. It's not a disability or something that's wrong with <laughs> right. you. It's just you're fucking single. Yeah. And you're about to live your best life alone until mm. a nigga comes or a bitch comes that enhances your life. Right. I was younger and I had a boyfriend and me and Danny were like just forming our friendship. I really whole thought life without my boyfriend was going to be so shitty. Like I was gonna be so unhappy and I was gonna be so bored. And she was like, bitch, 
No, being single is not the worst thing in the world. And I do believe this, and I've seen this on social media. Like, being by yourself happy is feels better than being in a relationship with someone and being not happy. That's my favorite thing. Like, when I stop talking to somebody, I immediately feel, like, relieved. Like, oh, oh my gosh, I get to go back I, to myself. I get I, to work on myself, make myself better. So you can take this time as being single, and you can make you the best you that you've ever been. It's a fun thing yeah. to reinvent yourself and right. boss up and level up. Take this time to rebuild yourself, reinvent yourself. We're not gonna act like being single is the worst possible thing. If you got a nigga, do you. We love seeing people in love. I sis. also like seeing people happy by right. themselves. Please just the don't thing. act like being single is the worst case scenario. Mm -hmm. Our next question is, what influenced you guys to start this YouTube channel? We really think it's important to empower, obviously, ourselves and empower other people. So we wanted to empower ourselves because this is something that's very fun that we love to do. And it's, it kind of does build confidence. Yeah. And we wanted to empower other people. And we're doing that by doing these self-help videos or doing our Silky Sister shoutouts and empowering local artists. We just kind of wanted to use this as like a positive thing in our yeah. life. What are you and Allie's major? I am a psychology major. I want to be to analyze criminals and see if you know they're insane or they're not insane or this was premeditated or they really didn't know what the fuck they were doing. I want to be able to really get inside the mind of criminals and shit like that to find out what the <laughs> fuck made them do what they did. I'm double majoring right now in criminal justice and psychology but I'm so wishy-washy because I came in as a social work major but I just really want to help people so I think that I'm finally locking in my career choice which I want to be a civil rights lawyer and I hope that one day I can be pro bono so I can help help families for free. Okay, our last question is gonna be, what do you and Danny think are good anniversary gifts? I love homemade gifts. Like I love DIYs, I love little handwritten letters. That's my favorite type of anniversary gift to get, but I'm not gonna flex. The best anniversary gift I ever got was Drake concert ticket. Even though that's not a DIY, I love Drake. I think a good anniversary gift is something that has a lot of thought into it. He knew that she loved Drake and that that would be something that really made her happy. A good anniversary gift is something that you know this person loves. Love, and it's just something that really shows that you care about them You're thinking about them and you plan to continue to do that. I don't really know. Never got an anniversary gift Never really made it. So, so that's the point. If you want to send Danny an anniversary gift, maybe we should make a P.O. box. <laughs> yes, so Danny should never got <laughs> Hey, that's it for our questions. We hope you guys had as much fun as we did and we hope that we helped some people with these questions. It's actually really kind of fun. I like this type of thing. Maybe we can do this once a month, maybe. We want to jump right into our local Silky Sisters shout out, which is going to be Savannah. Hey, I love Savannah. I say this like every Silky Sisters shout out, but I love her so much. Yes. She has literally been doing the damn thing. She is evolving herself yes. and her talent is she loves to sing. She's an amazing singer. She's had amazing performances, which well, let's tell you guys right now. Wait, not only does she sing, her makeup, literally, I use, oh I see this God. all the time. I wish that I knew her when I was in high school going to homecomings because I literally wish she could do my makeup right now all the time. She is just amazing. Here's her video. My man is my man is your man, her that's her man too. My man is my man is your man, her that's her man. Tuesday and Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, I just keep them satisfied through. Okay, we hope you guys enjoyed that yes. just as much as we did. Make sure that you guys subscribe, like, comment any questions that you thought of that you didn't get to ask and we didn't get to answer. Comment if you like this video, if you want to see more. We love the feedback and you guys have been amazing with that. So that's it for this video. Please stay tuned for the next one. And always remember, stay silky.